Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody. Uh, so today's Monday as usual. Let's take a look at the cryptocurrencies. So it's tough time for any riskier assets. As you can see, the stock market has been collapsed Friday on the statement and then Joe Biden and in general on the rising geopolitical tensions in Eastern Europe. So that has made the solid impact, especially in the gold market that has been actually jumped up significantly and crushed uh, some other currencies. And Euro currency has been downward action in general. So uh, how all these things could make impact on the Bitcoin market? So in two words speaking, keep it short. I do not see any positive sign currently for Bitcoin. Why? First, if we take a look just on the financial background, not considering the geopolitics and so on, currently with the very high CPI recent numbers, it's really big expectation, maybe it's not priced in totally, but it's really big expectation that Fed will change rate for a half percent at once in March. This will be not 25 points, but 50 points change. So this will be rather hawkish change. And I suggest that uh, with um, taking a look at the financial policy that United States trying to follow, especially in relation to the, its major rival in the political uh, scene, which is a uh, China, we think that uh, Fed will have to, well, it will be very difficult to control inflation in the current situation. As we said in yesterday, Vico report on the gold market, it seems that the United States trying to struggle the fire by the Fed policy and simultaneously add the fuel by the following uh, trading war with the China. Because uh, the deficit and supply bottlenecks mostly the artificial and is created by uh, sabotaging of the offloading of the cargoes in the ports, making the delivery and shipping very expensive. So everything is done for rising prices on the, on the goods, especially from the China, because it's most uh, significant, actually, the trading turnover between the United States and the China. And they intend to keep this policy. You probably have read about the stage one agreement with the Donald Trump administration uh, that China hasn't, uh, wasn't able to fulfill recently. So I think that it becomes the moment where rate could be relatively high, somewhere about 1.5%, but at the same time, inflation still will be there. And uh, with these interest rates, economy could be start hurting by the aggressive rate hike. So that's why in, in a medium term perspective, it's really big question how the rising rates could be supported Bitcoin, Bitcoin price action. Second moment is of course the geopolitical tensions. Bitcoin as we have estimated already many times, it's, it carries no features of the safe haven assets. It works like the risky assets, the equity, and the equity of not the primary quality. Let's call it in this way. So if something will be sold off, the Bitcoin will be among the first. So from that standpoint, we suggest that the geopolitical tensions is not yet started even. So all this stuff that we see currently, well, it's just, uh, well, really um, just the beginning stage. So it's, it's not even has started. And with this perspective, it's really big chances that well, it, lots of risks, let's call it in this way, lots of risks stands around Bitcoin market currently. So, um, an overall price performance that we see on the intraday charts, well, not really very um, inspiring for long-term investment by far. In fact, what we have on the charts, on the weekly chart, as you can see, market should bounce down from the strong weekly area, and that is, going, is happening right now. So, indeed, 
once our targets have been completed around 4566 that we have estimated on last Thursday and for intraday trading we said this will be 4566 and markets should start dropping and indeed that has happened the market shows the pullback this pullback is now is not very strong yet markets calling around this area so we need to keep an eye on what will happen on the intraday charts but well despite that here we have some kind of the morning star shape patterns suggesting probably high action but currently well um, the risks are really high that it might be deeper action here on the Bitcoin market so it mostly is driven by the external factors not by inner demand supply on particular on cryptocurrencies but just in general overall geopolitical and financial situation in the United States and in the world on the daily chart yes it seems that upper recovery here was relatively not bad here as we see bounce from the strong resistance and in general we could say that bounce is not really some kind of the uh, doesn't show the signs of the panic this is relatively slow downward action not very fast so from that standpoint uh, it might be considered could be considered the possible long position in the short term trading for short term trading and I suppose that uh, somewhere around 40 even area so if you'd like to trade Bitcoin you'd like to buy it well you could consider an area around 40 even uh, because here we could get the pattern um, that will show you on the fall time from chart but um, in general with this upward performance well um, it's not enough guys yet to say that the long-term trend is turning so it might be just some short-term reaction but I'm not ready to say that uh, we can't get the drop to the OP by far it's 26 target it's not clear yet so currently with the short-term trading if you would like to do something on the market you can see the daily trend stands bullish with this upward direction market has completed our a B C D patterns so if you remember we have got this initial A B C uh, target XOP was right here we're trading it last Monday then we said we, we, we were watching for this large A B C D pattern that this OP run 4560 both of them has been completed and market now is bouncing down as from the targets and from the weekly agreement area for a short term perspective this really fast upper direction it is stands positive it is good it's just because we could say that maybe markets keep going to the XOP target with the same ABCD pattern later so some upper direction theoretically might happen especially if geopolitical tensions will ease for some time <clears throat> and uh, technically on the technical side you could in general consider this uh, trading setup but might just draw here you kind of the hand and shoulder sports passion that you could keep an eye on so market currently is coming to the strong sport area which is as i said 40 40 40.5 41 approximately and if you would like to buy um the bitcoin theoretically you could consider not chances to take in the position right here with anticipation of possible upward continuation placing stop somewhere i don't know maybe below the 618 level that's the one of the strategies that uh, you could try to follow because appearing of the shape of the hand shoulders especially with the fast acceleration here it will be a very great background uh, that could very um, clearly tell you what is going on so if for example market start dropping breaking the 618 level it means the hand shoulders is failing and we should be ready to take him out of this loss and move to the 26. if market will show this gradual slow action right to this level it starts upper pullback in this case that's great you could follow with it and keep watching for the next upside target which will be the XOP of this ABC passion we will talk about this on Thursday probably because currently it makes no sense just to consider it because the upper action is not even started yet so that's actually what we have uh, on a longer term perspective everything stands I would say not very positive or at least we have some worries about the long term perspective for the cryptocurrencies but currently on the shorter term we have some pattern that theoretically you could try to follow if you would like to so we do not know how the geopolitical tensions will will develop and if as i said this would be some relief in the tensions so bitcoin easily could try to climb a bit higher so that's our view currently on uh, bitcoin market